Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a little bit more about the up and coming enhanced and expanded version of GTA 5, and more importantly, discussing whether it's worth buying a PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X console just for this new version of GTA 5. Now this is a question that I've been getting a lot recently, so I wanted to make this video and give you the top to down breakdown of everything we know that will be coming, and you can make the decision of whether it's going to be worth it for you. So we got a ton of really awesome information to discuss today, but before we do that, make sure to drop a like rating on this video to show your support, as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shout out of the day, and right after that went to the actual video. So today's shout out of the day goes to a really awesome YouTube channel known as Zenful. Now Zenful is a really awesome YouTube channel that has all sorts of really awesome videos that contain soothing and relaxing sounds to help you relax meditate, or even relieve anxiety. They upload new sounds multiple times per week, so there's always something new to watch and listen to on their channel. Make sure to click the first link in the description down below to subscribe to Zenful on YouTube for some really awesome relaxing and meditational videos. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So as most of you probably already know by now, Rockstar Games is going to be releasing a new version of GTA 5 later this year in November, and this version of GTA 5 has been in development for a little bit over a year now, and it will be exclusive to the PS5, Xbox Series X, and will likely come to the PC at a later date. Now, a large majority of players at the moment are still playing on the PS4 as well as Xbox One because of console availability, and also people don't want to spend money on a new console that they aren't convinced yet that they need. Now, right now, if you take a look at the PS5 and Xbox Series X, both consoles do have a number of exclusive games. However, for the most part, there really isn't any major big reason to upgrade besides the new user interface, especially on the PS5, the new controller on both consoles, as well as the promise of next-gen gaming at 120 FPS at 8K resolution. But again, the keyword there is promise because so far there aren't any games that can even support anywhere near that at the moment. So first and foremost, it is worth remembering that Rockstar Games has been developing this new version of GTA 5 for a little bit over a year now, and while they have not revealed too much information publicly, what we do know from insider sources is that Rockstar spent the past year completely redeveloping the game from the ground up. Now, when Rockstar transitioned from the PS3 and Xbox 360 to the version that we have now, they did do a lot of code editing, however, for the most part, it was not a recode of the entire game, and instead, it was more of a light upgrade. This is going to be a complete remaster of the game, and again, as I mentioned, they are redeveloping it from the ground up upgrading the game engine to match the same one that is inside Red Dead Redemption 2, and while we do not have official images, screenshots, or videos just yet, I can imagine that the difference is going to be immense. So things like having 60 frames per second on console, which at the moment is only possible on PC, as well as greater draw distances, more detailed building interiors, as well as more detailed car interiors, are all likely going to be features of this new version. So if you're somebody that really cares about the graphical quality, as well as the frame rate of your games, this is going to be a very big upgrade and is likely going Going to be worth it. Now, in addition to that, Rockstar did say that players on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are going to receive extra benefits inside GTA Online, and one of the first two benefits that were announced a couple of weeks ago is an increased top speed on certain vehicles, as well as new limited edition customization options inside the LS Mod Shop. Now, I'm sure there will be extra benefits to be announced, such as money bonuses and all sorts of different goodies, but at the moment, it does show, at least right now, that Rockstar Games is trying to incentivize people to get this new version, and it is very clear that they're trying to do so. 
Now, the way I personally see it is that while the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are very difficult to get right now, and this shortage will definitely or at least likely continue into next year and possibly even beyond, it is still worth it because you will need to get one of these new consoles regardless at one point or another because at one point all new games are only going to be releasing on these new consoles and the first big game, at least from what we know right now, that is going to be releasing later this year is going to be this new version of GTA 5 and by getting one of these new consoles you're going to be one of the first people to go ahead and experience this new version of GTA. Now if you're somebody who's playing on a very small television or monitor and doesn't really care about quality or frame rate, I would say that you still want to get a next gen console when possible, but it should not be at the top of your priority list. Now I personally was lucky enough to get a PlayStation 5 directly from Best Buy Online by placing a pickup order, however I did give that console away to one of my family members and I've been trying to get one for myself ever since without much luck. So it's still very difficult to get one of these new consoles, of course due to the worldwide chip shortage, so your best bet to get one of these consoles is either to stay updated on the forums and Twitter as soon as a drop goes live to try to get one, or if you really don't want to do that, the best second way to do so is to get it from a reseller. Now the prices from resellers are of course more expensive than MSRP, however due to the competition in the reseller market, the prices have actually been going down and quite honestly, it is worth it to some people because you don't need to spend any time waiting for a job, you just place an order, pay a little bit extra, and get a new console in your hand. Now again, this new expanded and enhanced version of GTA 5 is going to be releasing all the way in November, so you still have some time and this isn't something that you need to figure out overnight. Now for those of you that are curious about the exact release date, Rockstar Games did actually say that it will be releasing on November 11th. Now usually Rockstar does stick by the release date estimates that they provide, however as always with the gaming industry, things are moving so quickly, so do expect the possibility for a slight delay that could take it into possibly December, but at the moment it is November 11th, which is still a number of months away. Now the final note I do want to mention here is that if you own a PlayStation 4 copy of GTA 5 and if you get a PS5, you do not need to rebuy GTA 5 again. And the same thing goes for Xbox players. If you have an Xbox One and you get an Xbox One X, as long as you have GTA 5 purchased on your current console, you're able to transfer that over for absolutely free. Now on top of that, there have been rumors over the past day or so that Rockstar Games has been updating their character transfer system behind the scenes, so your character transfer is going to be very seamless as they did with the previous console shift a number of years ago, so there's no need to worry about that, and the best thing is, is that as long as you're not switching console platforms, such as going from Xbox to PlayStation or PlayStation to Xbox, as long as you're staying in the same console network, you're going to be able to get a free upgrade, so literally the only thing you need to pay for is the new console. And since you're pretty much going to have to buy a new console at one point or another, I do suggest that you try to look for one now, because as we do get closer to the holiday season, which coincidentally is when this expanded and enhanced version of GTA 5 is set to release, demand and prices are going to skyrocket, so right now, around the next couple of months, is really that sweet spot, and if you're interested, I recommend making your mind up soon and trying to look for a console, whether you want to try to buy one yourself and try to stay on top of all of the console drops or try to find a reseller with a reasonable price. But let me know in those comments down below, what are your plans for a next gen console? Are you going to be getting one for the new version of GTA 5 for November? Do you already have one or do you think you're going to wait it out and it is not a priority for you at the moment? Let me know what your thoughts are in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. But either way, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed watching today's video and you learned something new, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video, as well as subscribe down below if you haven't already with those notifications on so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again for tuning in today, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.